Shotgun Farmers by Megastorm Games is priced at £6.99. My code was provided to me by the developer. It's a first-person shooter. It's an online first-person shooter where you use plants that grow in the level as weapons, as ammunition. Um, so if you want to use a shotgun, you have to pull some corn out of the ground, and the corn is a shotgun. Um, and there's only a certain amount of corn on the level that grows in a certain amount of time. It takes like a couple of minutes to grow. And um, you pull it out of the ground and you use it until there's running out of ammo. And then you, you pull some more out of the ground. Which is a really interesting idea because although that sounds like pretty like gimmicky, the actual idea that your food, uh, the, the food that's grown is the weapons. Like there's a, a tomato launcher, um, which if you pull out a small one, you get like three shots. But if you pull out a big one, you get six shots, which is cool because the longer you leave something to grow, the more ammunition you're going to have. But then you run the risk that somebody else is going to take it. And there's like a carrot rocket launcher, as I is pretty cool. It's all like a little bit silly, um, but the aesthetic reflects that with bright colors and really um, interesting looking things. I mean, it's very basic, it's not loads of text, it's not super high resolution here. This is supposed to look like a cartoon, it does a great job of that. I really like the idea behind it but um it's not without faults now first of all there's at the moment very few people playing this game i mean it's just had a fairly big winter update and uh, it's been out since it's been in the access since june of 2017 and right now in december of 2017 there's just no one playing i tried to get a game earlier today and i logged in there was one server in north america nothing in any of the regions the rest of the world and when I jumped in, there was one of the dude playing and a bunch of bots. Uh, about five minutes after I joined, the dude left and it was just me and bots again. So I sat there for a while. The odd couple of people had come and go. But for the most part, I just couldn't find people playing this game. Now, it's online only. There's no single player component here. I mean, you can practice against bots, but you'll be doing that online for the most part anyway. The bots, on the other hand, aren't brilliant because... There are a couple of modes with this. There's deathmatch. There's team deathmatch. There's like a, there's like a capture the point thing where the point appears and you run to it and you capture the zone. And then it goes somewhere else. Very, very nice, like standard modes that you, know, you can get behind. Now, there's also this weird one where you have to capture a chicken. Like you pick up the chicken, and the longer you hold the chicken, the more points you get. Cool idea because you run around. You can't shoot while you're holding the chicken, and the chicken's looking right at you. So as you're running around, this chicken's face is in the, is in the camera at all times. Um, and you, you're pretty defenseless. Now, I noticed that the bots on the team was all defending me. Um, and I was hiding in the corner, jumping, and then I noticed an enemy bot walked past me and didn't shoot me. And I realized the bots defend the dude with the chicken without really much idea of which team he's actually on. So I picked up the chicken, I stood in the middle of the level, and as long as no one actually joined the game, I'd just be fine. I'd just be able to hold that chicken the entire time, which got to the point where it was dull. I would have made a pot of tea at one point and just left it with the chicken in hand. Um, the game suffers because of this. I mean, it would really... If there was only one bot on your team, you might not notice that the bot's defending the chicken, regardless of what team it's on. But when your entire team on both sides is made up as bots, this becomes really obvious. Also, the way the bots select weapons. As far as I can see, when you go into a level and there's just bots... You can tell because bots will use the weapon they res up with. And everyone always res up with the corn rifle, uh, the corn shotgun. And uh, if you're in a room full of bots, the only variety you see in is shotguns, shotguns, shotguns. And then someone may come in and, and pull a carrot launcher out the ground. And you go, ah, that's the person that's not a bot because he's not using a shotgun. Uh, it's unfortunate given how pretty this game is, how nice it looks, and how the core gimmick is actually pretty smart the fact that no one's playing is just a death sentence for this game and it's a real shame because the game is fun i mean even with bots i played for like an hour i had a great time it was, it was fun there's no getting around this game is enjoyable to play um even if the bots was better even if it was just me and bots but the bots was really quite good and quite convincing you know and had weird quirks and, and played like real players i'd probably still find joy in it but playing this game was just bots and the bots are all you know really useless really took the edge off i mean i have no skills in first person shooters it's not you know it's not a genre i'm particularly good at but hey what is um and honestly i i came out i think we came out third on the server they're like third on in the whole round which was which was nice um 
And the only reason I came third was because there was two other people playing. So, like, the bots just didn't stand a chance. It was If there's no one else joins the server, I'll win every time. And I feel like if the bots was better, at the very least you'd be able to play it and just, you know, be like, oh, I'll just play with bots until someone comes online. Um, but the nature of these bots just means that you can't enjoy this game. And it's a real shame. There's not loads of levels. There doesn't seem to be loads of levels. I've experienced like four of them in the time I was playing. They're all quite well designed and interesting. And it's really weird because I don't really have a lot bad to say about the game. It's just that because no one's playing, it can completely kills it now the game is in early access and perhaps if they had a single player campaign this would elevate the game somewhat you'd have a reason to play it but uh, it does look like they are literally focusing on the single player on the multiplayer stuff and having no single player at all they're even touting it as an online multiplayer shooter for up to 12 players with no talk about future plans for any form of single player content and that's just a real shame because while it's fun there really is, I mean, you really shouldn't buy it. I mean, I, I don't like saying that because obviously if people don't buy it, then that's the reason no one's playing it. But likewise, if you're buying a game that no one's playing, you, you're not going to play it. It's that weird catch-22 that online games find themselves in, which is why I, I've always thought that, you know, online games that are smaller titles should always focus on some single player content just to give you a reason to sort of keep the game in your inventory. But uh, it's nice looking, it's competent, and I did enjoy what I've played of it, but unless some bunch of friends buy it and invite me into the game, then the chances are I'm not going to load it again. And it's a real shame because this game's got a lot of personality. Terrible bots, but a lot of personality. And that chicken is, is hilarious. It, it really is. I've been hexed DSL. This has been Shotgun Farm. It's a game I really wish I could recommend. But unfortunately, I just can't. Thanks for watching. Bye.